Video games are becoming more and more popular with all different age groups. Soon there won't be time for going to the park or playing any outdoor sports. We would be too busy killing people on our consoles or the computers. The one game that most people play online is a massively multiplayer online role playing game called World of Warcraft. It has over 11 million people playing this game and it's getting popular every year. Blizzard, the makers of World of Warcraft, have made a very successful game and has won a lot of awards. With over 11 million people playing this game, it must have some addicting gameplay to get all these people. That's when the World of Warcraft addiction comes into play. We decided to take a look inside a house where everyone plays World of Warcraft to see if it does have a negative effect while playing this game for too long. We interviewed these people. I, I started back about two years ago. Um, me and Prophet here, just like... <sighs> we got into this game, man. It was like... Level one, no. right? I was like so into it. I got to like level twenty in like an hour, man. And and profit, right? He he started about a month after me. He was like level eighty five in like two days, right? And and he, my, I'm Dragon Hawk, right? And um, we 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 just we we we, we yeah. Where's my ice barrier? Oh, um. Uh, uh, j j yeah, just equip it to your uh, action. Okay. Um, so we're like, so so Prophet is like still a bit of a noob. Um, we we, we we explore the realms of the Lich King, pretty much every goddamn night. It's just like, bang, bang, bang. My life outside is very sociable. Sometimes I go down to the shops to get some food. Otherwise, we would all die. One time we ran out of food, so we had to eat Fred. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> this Lich King dude is just like this big. Like that, that big. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah. Sorry, Prophet. Um, you good? Uh, yeah. So he's like um, this, this, this giant, undead thing. It's like a, it's it's like a mix between a warlock. It's called and a Death Knight. Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 like a mix between a paladin or a pally, which which is like warriors of the light, and um, and it's just like you know. Uh, Never stop playing this game. Your face. After having a talk with them, we do know there is a problem. That these housemates are lost in this game and can't stop playing it no matter what. They also get smashed and wake up in different places. They're not ready. And are very confused. We asked them if they could break their addiction for one week without playing this game and they said yes. So they left their habitat and now they're on a mission to not play World of Warcraft for one week. The first day we blocked their accounts. Dude, did you did you just get that? Yes. Did, did, we, did we just disconnect? I don't, I don't know. Ask your mum about the internet. Mom, The INTERNET! Fuck! Ah! Is it funny? Um, dude. Dude. Um, the information you have entered is not valid. Please check the spelling of the account name and password. And this ends up with some violent anger from the housemates. One of them couldn't take the news he couldn't play WoW so he did this weird thing. That was mighty strange. Day 2 and Day 3, the housemates head to the park and start to copy their role playing fantasy characters. Like doing spells and fighting each other which looks very cool in their minds. But to other people that walk on by, they look like a bunch of retards. Day 4 and Day 5, some of the housemates try and kill themselves. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah! We're doing this together. We started together, we'll die together. But luckily, no one died. The last two days, they find different stuff to do than to play World of Warcraft. 
It's only simple things, but at least they're entertained. They still play World of Warcraft, but not as much as they used to. They understand now that if you get so into your game for so long, you forget there is another world happening around you. So, is this addiction Blizzard's fault for releasing such an addicting game? Well, there's no right answer, but as long as people know what is fantasy and what is real, they should not turn out like what these people used to be in this World of Warcraft addiction documentary. None of the parents wanted to be a part of this documentary. They said we're a bunch of idiots and should find something else to do.